uh, has been a mainstay of the Teamsters Local 705 and the UP and UPS since 1974. Early on, he established his leadership by handling contract negotiations and grievances, going, going on to serve as a business agent and trustee for Local 705. A successful team builder during 2003 election, he ran for secretary treasurer and developed a slate of officers that soundly defeated the opposition. For the first time, the head of the local uh, was from UPS. And for the first time in over 100 years, his slate of candidates beat an incumbent team. He continues to serve as a trustee on Joint Council 25 in Chicago as a national negotiator for the request of the Teamsters General President, James Hoffa. Steve and his wife, Linda, have been married for over 16 years and have two sons, Stephen and Kevin. Crime Commission Labor Leader of the Year, Steve Pachowski. Since I'm last, I'm going to take as long as it needs. You know, a couple things before I start out. Um, Friday morning, I was driving into the office about 6 in the morning, and I get a call from one of my stewards, and he's all upset and everything. And I, I, I'm like, he's out of YRC, and things are very tense down there. I don't know if you read the papers and everything, uh, but it's, it's, you know, pretty tough situation going on there. But he calls me up, and he's complaining about that they had a bid, and they spelled his name wrong. And I said, dude. When you got a name like mine, they spell it wrong all the time. Just get used to it. I'm living proof that less than one week after I make that statement, they put my nameplate over on my table and it's spelled wrong. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this to show it to them. It, it continues. Uh, I would like to thank the Academy of Motion. Wait a minute, that's the wrong speech. No, but really, in all reality, how about this? <laughs> A teamster from Chicago being honored by the Illinois State Crime Commission. Usually they're investigating a teamster, so this is quite a turnaround. <laughs> uh, actually, I had a vice president from the West call me up and he says I technically won this by default. But uh, how lucky can it be? This is the 13th award and I'm being named. Uh, anyway, it is a great honor here to share the stage with all these honorees. Uh, just in case you don't know, uh, Jack Marco is our fun consultant here at Local 705, and it's great to be spoken of with Jack Marco and Labor in the same sentence. It's a great honor to be recognized by the Illinois State Crime Commission tonight. We at Teamsters Local 705 take it very seriously when it comes to helping out not just our members, but the surrounding communities and organizations within. So to be recognized for recognizing others is quite the ultimate compliment. I'd like to thank Illinois State Crime Commission Advisory Board and Committee, particularly Mike Pruder, Mary Flowers, Phyllis Lizader Swartz, Jerry Elsner, and Eldo Body. Also, big thanks to Art Ludwig. I want to thank a great friend of Local 705 that was here today, Illinois Secretary of State Jesse White, and in case you didn't know, today was his birthday. Uh, I was hoping he'd hang around so we could sing, but you know, it's when you're Secretary of State, time is precious. Uh, there are others out there in the audience I'd like to acknowledge and thank. My friends and colleagues from Joint Council 25 Executive Board, John Coley, Tom Steedy, Terry Hancock, who was honored here tonight, Brian Mydell, Mike Hafner, Jim Glimkel, and all the other locals came out of support from the Joint Council. Uh, there are some others in town that came from other Teamsters local that I served with and had the honor to serve with on UPS National Negotiating Committee. My crazy friends from the West, Marty Freitas of Local 70, Oakland, California, my brother Ron Herrera from Local 396 out of Los Angeles. Also one of the best case presenters I've ever witnessed, and that's Mike Stapleton from Local 385 out of Orlando, Florida. I thank you guys for making a long trek up here. I really appreciate it. Um, there are also some more, more outstanding people out here that you haven't met in this organization, but they've sent in and uh, bought ads in the paper, and I thank them a lot. There was one guy, though, who heads this up for all of us in dealing with United Parcel. Uh, when Local 705 was negotiating its agreement here with UPS last summer, he came in to lend some support with us during the final hours, and also to be trampled on and verbally abused by Juan Campos. If you know Juan, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, we were in the process of doing something that no one else has ever done and has totally rewrite the whole Local 705 UPS agreement. And what that meant was to gut all the national language to favor us. Every time we'd rip something out, Juan would comment, get rid of that crappy national language. This guy would just sit there and not say a word. But uh, towards the end, there was some language 
that was in the national that, that all of a sudden Juan wanted, and Ken blurts out, so now you want that crappy national language. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately he couldn't be here. He, was, he called me at 4 p.m. tonight. He was still at the White House and dealing with uh, YRC situations. And that's uh, Teamster International Vice President at Large and Small Parcel Director, my good friend Kenny Hall. Uh, there's a lot in this, and it takes a huge supporting staff to make this successful. This all starts with an executive board, and I feel we have one of the finest. I'd like to thank Local 705 President Joe Bakes, Vice President Greg Foster, Recording Secretary Juan Campos, Trustees Neil Messino, Sammy Marinas, and Kenny Emanuelson. Also, all the agents, the stewards that are here tonight, office staff, all of which are too many to call out, and I thank you all. Also, I want to have a big, big thanks to my personal secretary, Kathy Meyer. She keeps the roof on for me when I'm gone. To make this local run tough, though, you also need a legal team to support your agenda and protect your members. I personally prefer to use an Uzi, but I was told that there's some law against that, and that's where the lawyers come in. Local 705 has what I feel are some of the best. Uh, local 705 staff attorneys Ned, Beck, Ned Burke and Eric Fisher are for starters. I also want to mention one more liar, lawyer who couldn't be here with us tonight. Lawyer, liar, they're all the same, right? Um, and that's uh, Marilyn Brazel, more affectionately known on the seventh floor as the bitch. Uh, she had a lot to do with the shaping of our in-house in legal department in the beginning and unfortunately couldn't be here because of family problems. I would also like to thank our lead outside counsel, counsel, counsel <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Gilbert from Johnson Jones, Gilbert and Snelling. Uh, Tom Ellison and his staff from Ellison, Slutsky, and Kennedy. That's a free plug for you guys. And then there are the funds attorneys. In case you notice, Teamsters walk around with an army of attorneys. I would like to thank especially the folks at Baum Sigmund, starting with Bernie Baum, Jim Newman. Jim, I gave you your two cents there. Catherine Chapman and Pat Ryan. I also want to mention a good friend of ours, and that's Stephen Rosenblatt. Uh, he's, been, he's been one of our silent but deadly assets and has been uh, a true help to us in everything we've done. Again, I thank you, Stephen. I also want to reach across to the other side of the aisle to another attorney. Uh, this is one that deals with the management trustees and for an attorney, he has a lot of class. Uh, he's assisted us in a lot of our hard decisions at the funds. I want to thank you, Jim Daly. Uh, I also want to thank again our fund administrator, Jack Witt, and his assistant, Amy. Also, a very close friend of mine is here with us tonight. And if you want to talk to an authority on funds, the economy, or anything that has to do with money in the direction or the future of this country, he wrote a book on it. I want to introduce to you a good friend and mentor of mine, just completing his second term as chairman with the Federal Reserve Bank of Richmond, Virginia, Dr. Tom Ackle, Jr. Uh, and UPS thought they're the only ones who had friends up at the Fed. I'm connected, too. <laughs> Great guy. We also have a group here tonight that we just called the boys. Jim Anisi, John Feinberg, Dan D, and Jeff Pettiford, and I won't say more than that, but from the bottom of my heart, I thank you guys. Am I out of time yet? <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't know what it's like when a Teamster gets a microphone. You at 705 take all the time you need. <laughs> all right. You obviously haven't been to a 705 meeting. <laughs> if you see this old guy in the 80s walking around with a hot chick, He's not her sugar daddy. I was kidding, by the way. Okay. Uh, it's my dad. And uh, he's here with my niece. Uh, my mom couldn't make it. It's been getting hard for her to get around. But dad, this one's for you. And this isn't too bad for a Polak from Bucktown. But this all comes down to what really makes this work. There is that old saying that behind every man is a great woman, and it's true. Not, not any of this would ever happen if it wasn't for my wife. Uh, we were in Hawaii in 2002 celebrating our 10th anniversary and on our last night we were having dinner on the beach. And at that time she raises up her glass and says to the next secretary treasurer of Local 705. I hadn't really given thought of running for office. I mean, I was a feeder driver out at UPS and that's next to semi-retirement and I was on cruise control, so why run? But as she so eloquently put it, they want you, they support you, and you're not happy unless you're messing with UPS. Anyway, just go for it, and I did. I got together with Joe to form our team, and the rest has been history. For the first time in this local's history, we've been an incumbent, and we've had continued success. But none of this could ever continue without support from within, and my wife has been my rock when I need someone to lean on. She has supported and stood by everything that this position does to me that takes away from your family life, and it's not easy. It's one of those, this is one of those rare moments where it's, good, where it's a really a good thing. 
It's a, it's a demanding job. You wrestle